What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here, welcome to another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. I do these every single week with Cassie Mendoza to follow tomorrow, so make sure to click that notification bell and subscribe to my channel for more Vendor Resets. Also, if you're looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077, make sure to follow me and subscribe to my second channel, Cyberwolf. Link will be in the description. We just recently got a lot of details uh, with regards to perks and skills so that builds will become a thing on that game as well so if you guys like my build videos from this game hopefully you will jump over to my second channel where i will be covering cyberpunk 2077 like i said link will be in the description so the first vendor uh he is going to be in the base of operations emeline's guard this is a very nice smg with perfect preservation which is really really good uh, that's 24 percent armor over five seconds with a headshot kill so very very nice talent obviously t if you just kill an enemy normally it's 12 percent but this is a very very good weapon now it's unfortunate that the crit chance is low but if you already have high crit chance on your build and you don't mind having magazine size this could be a decent one for you mp5 st this one's got strained with magazine size as the attribute police mp uh, m4 with six percent crit damage and preservation military m9 with bread basket rate of fire 3.7 percent Badgetov bag with galvanized explosive resistance and hazard protection. The armor roll is very low though. Balsan armory chest piece with gunslinger explosive resistance and crit chance, which is 4.3. The armor value is about three quarter rolls. Then an offensive mod, 10.2% crit damage for the drone, 8.5% health. For the turret, uh, we have got 4.1% burn damage. And then for the sticky, we've got 4% burn duration. Now remember guys, over here by Naya, she sells blueprints. Make sure to double check by her if she is selling nothing that means you have all of the blueprints that she currently has to offer moving on to the clan vendor in the base in washington emeline's guard again this one is a lot better so forget about that one uh, previously on the vendor before this this one's really good the crit chance and the smg damage are just above three quarter rolls with magazine size as the attribute but you could just re-roll whatever you want there very very nice hard wired mask with headshot damage as the attribute 7.6%, negotiator's mask 8.9% status effect, striker's holster, repair skill 17.4%, military carry MK17 with reformation health damage 7%, card 45 with fast hands, damage targets out of cover 8%, then overlord gloves with max out crit chance and the weapon damage is really good as well, not too bad. Military G36 with vindictive and magazine size 12% as the attribute, backpack Mokami Industries with tech support, Status effect and health. Then we got DNH, knee pads, armor region and health. Providence chest with entrench and beautiful rainbow rolls. Utility mod 10.5% skill haste for the pulse, 9.1% radius for the seeker mine, 4.4% damage, and then for the firefly, 6.5% blind effect duration. The theater settlement vendor. We have got the surge uh, rifle with perfect spike. Custom M870 MCS, not very good with pummel. M1A CQB with reformation. Petrov. Battle gloves, crit damage, weapon damage, and hazard protection. Uh, you'd preferably want contractor's gloves in the slot. Then Providence knee pads, weapon damage. Oh, beautiful rainbow roll there, guys. With health as well. Defensive mod, 8.6% bleed resistance. For the Seeker Mine, 6.5% health. For the shield, 4.2% deflected damage. Firefly, 1 max targets. Decoy, 6% health. The Campus Vendor. We've got the RNK Holster. Forge Holster, named variant. It has got 20% incoming repairs as the one piece. And we have got health, which you could reroll for whatever you want. This is actually not very good because unfortunately health is not something we ever use in this game. And you want to be able to reroll the core attribute to a blue, especially if you want to make a shield build. But it doesn't matter if some of you guys actually do want the skill tier, then you can purchase this and just reroll the attribute. Then we have got the M700 Tactical with Sadus damage starts out of cover, 8%. It's not terrible. Tactical M249 uh, Para with Eyeless and Swap Speed, 12.2%. Badger Tough uh, Mask, not very good. Just below three quarter rolls. Armor Region Repair Skills, Providence Holster, Repair Skills and Weapon Handling. Then Utility Mod, 10.3% Skill Haste for the Chem, 4.3% Duration for the Pineapple, 4.1% Damage for the Pulse, 6.2% Cone Size, and then for the Trap, 6% Duration. Moving on to the Dark Zone vendors, as always, I will show you guys the targeted loot for today as well. Golden Gear in West, Masks in South, and then East, it is Wyvernware. Let's move over to Dark Zone West vendor. We have got the Backup Boomstick with Ranger and Magazine Size 9% and 7% Damage to Armor. Remember guys, if you want to purchase these with DZ credits, go and farm landmarks or deconstruct contaminated loot and then extract. 
ACS-12 with Pumped Up. This is a decent one. The damage to armor and targets out of cover is quite good. You will just reroll the shotgun damage. Very nice. 1886 with In Sync and Accuracy. True Patriot uh, gloves with maxed out skill haste. Then you would just have to reroll the core tribute, which is extremely low. Uh, Eclipse Protocol knee pads with skill damage 6.9%. Healer Guard gloves, explosive resistance and health, very bad. RNK knee pads, crit damage armor regen. Defensive mod 8.6 blind death resistance. Seeker mind 4.9% skill haste. Shield 4.3% shield health. Uh, uh, yeah, and five flight plus one max targets. Decoy 6% duration. Dark Zone East Fender, we've got the Darkness Rifle. This is a Marksman Rifle, sorry. Uh, this has got perfect eyeless and stability is the attribute. Covert SRS with strained and 8% crit damage. Negev with in-sync damage to armor is 5%. Future Initiative Mask with skill haste 10.3%. True Patriot Holster with weapon handling 6%. And the armor value is just about 3 quarter rolls. Badgetuff Mask with skill damage and almost maxed out armor. Badgetuff Holster, very low unfortunately. Utility mod 10.1% skill haste, chem launcher 6.4% burn strength for the pineapple 7.3% health, pulse 6.3% cone size and trap 5.9% duration. Dark Zone South Vendor, Glory Days with accuracy 8.5%, TA21 Police, this is an SMG with unwavering max out crit chance, Police M4 with strained and crit damage is 9%, it's not terrible, Dustrous uh, pistol, 5% damage to armor with salvage. Eclipse bag with 10.1% skill haste. Negotiator's chest with almost maxed out weapon damage. Earl the backpack with shock and awe. Beautiful rainbow rolls for you guys there. Chest piece badge are tough. Very terrible rolls there as well. Offensive mod, 7.4% headshot damage for the drone. 8.2 scan range. Turret, 4.1 damage. And sticky, 6.3% damage. Let's move over to the New York vendors. In the base of operations in New York, we've got Marco Vendor. He has got the Honey Badger. I know a lot of you guys have been looking for this one. This one's got Sadist with magazine size 10.5%, surplus SVD reformation, 7% damage to targets out of cover. Resolute MK17 with this is a rifle with Ranger and crit chance, which is 6.5%. Officers M9A1 with steady handed and headshot damage 9%. Healer God bag with Bloodsucker and beautiful rainbow walls once again. I know you guys are, are, are desperate for these. Uh, Dr. Sun Harding Ma uh, gloves with 10.8% weapon damage. Crit chance 9.6 in health, 15,000. 15,000 health, guys. You cannot pass that one up. Look at that. That's juicy, that. I, don't lie, guys. You wanted this. <laughs> Petrov, Petrov mask with health again. Okay. Utility mod 10.1% skill haste. Defensive mod 8.5 disrupt resistance. Shield 4.3 holstered regen. Pineapple 7.7% health and trap 5.7% shock radius. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. I think it's just I, I still can't believe they're giving us those rolls. Okay, let's move on to the final vendor, Roy Benitez. He will definitely not save the day, but we'll do our lucky little, uh, we'll pet the dog, say hello, and that will give us the luck we needed. This is taking a bit longer than I anticip uh, than I thought. I don't think I've ever done this before, actually. Okay, let's see what we can get. What have you got for us, Roy? Tactical MK16, Bread Basket, crit damage 8%. Stoner LAMG with swap speed, damage to targets out of cover, overwhelm. Classic M1A with swap speed, close and personal. X45, close and personal again, reload speed. RNK bag with safeguard weapon handling skill, haste, overlord gloves. With almost maxed out skill damage and weapon damage and headshot damage quite low as well. I wonder who coded this one in. Uh, Eroldi holster, very bad as again. Utility mod slot, 8.3% skill duration. Offensive, 10.1% crit damage. For the turret, plus one extra mortar ammo. For the pineapple, 4.2% duration. And for the sticky, 6.3% duration. That's going to be it for this week's vendor reset agents. There are one or two things worth getting if you don't have them. But other than that, nothing too special. So make sure you guys go uh, subscribe to my second channel, Cyberwolf. Link it right now and in the, the description. And subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Hopefully we can get better vendors next week. And... Cassie Mendoza tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you guys stick around for that one. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace out, guys.